Well, this spring we'll be seeing these horses pop up in one part of town. It is a new public art campaign, and so far it's just a blank canvas. As Joe Chioto explains, the goal is to bring our community together in support of police while honoring those who have sacrificed the most. Hey guys, yeah, this campaign is called Horses of Honor. Eight of these life-size horses that you see right here will be displayed in Turner Park, and they will each be painted by a different artist to eventually look like this. Now, all eight of them will each represent a different fallen Omaha police officer. Now, the most recent one will be fallen officer Carrie Orozco, who was killed in the line of duty a year ago this May. Now, this campaign began in Chicago about two years ago, and this is a look at what some of those completed horses look like. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter says they wanted to come up with a way to honor Officer Roscoe over a long period of time rather than simply just doing it on one day with a ceremony on the anniversary of her death. They say there's three main goals of this project. First, honor eight Omaha police officers who have died in the last 10 to 20 years. Second, support the Omaha Police Foundation. And third, bring the community together. I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with because what I've, what I've seen from the Chicago piece is pretty impressive. So part of my anticipation is what's going to happen. What are the artists going to do? What are the sponsors going to do? I'm curious as well. The eight officers that each horse honors were picked by a steering committee, and they're going to be in Turner Park for one year. They're going to be installed on May 20th. That is the anniversary of Officer Carrie Orozco's death. Reporting downtown, I'm Joe Chioto, WWT6 News. There will also be a statue of a canine to honor Cobus, the dog that was recently killed in the line of duty. You can count on us to cover the campaign as we get closer to that in May. And Turner Park is just down the street from us. It's part of the Midtown Crossing Complex.